What is up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Futera Unique World Football Soccer. Two box breaks sold out. <laughs> Football soccer. Uh, this is a random first name, first letter, numero once, number 11. Uh, so this is the second to last two box break. Now, 23 total spots, guys. All card ship. Everybody gets a random letter from the list below. So we go by the first letter of the name on the card, right? So for example, Jack Graylish will go to letter J. We'll also go by the first letter of their nickname that is printed on the card. So let's just say Gavi is the thing printed on there. Goes to letter G. If it says Pele, goes to P. So whatever's printed on the card is where it goes to the first letter. Um, now again, capped that at 510 cases in total. Futera offers... Memorabilia cards, on-card autographs, gold-plated cards, and a very, very limited release, guys. It's always a fun one. So, here's the dice roll. Here's the customer names, the letters. Let's click roll and see what you guys match up with. One out of five, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kelly, down to Joe. Whoa. And we got six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. H down to T. Let's keep it right there. So, Kelly, you have letter H. Tristan with S as well as D. Joe, you got P. Tristan with A. Joe with E. Tristan with C. A. A. Ron, you got J. Tristan with K. John with R. Joe with L. Aaron. A. A. Ron, you got F. Kelly with I. A. A. Ron with V. Tristan with W. A. A. Ron with O. Z and all other letters. Tristan with Y. N. B. And then A. A. Ron, you have G. M. And Joe with T. Okay, I want to say I did one of these breaks like early on when we first had this. I don't know what has been hit from this case though, but I'll leave it up there for maybe like 30 seconds. See if anybody wants to try to potentially make a trade. I know it's late night. Maybe not many people watching that are in this break, but I'll give it a quick like 30 seconds. All right, TWC guys. Wow, Rex, you're telling me that? Who is a who comes from a Mexican family, <laughs> bro? I live off that. No, I'm just joking. Yes, many times, bro. <laughs> My favorite flavor of Haritos is lemon lime. No, I'm just, I was just joking. Yeah, I do. I love Haritos. I, I've been drinking it my whole life, honestly. All right, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. I don't actually drink it. I mean, not that I drink it like all the time, but. 
Um, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I usually get it on certain occasions. Like, when I go to this, like, carnita spot that I grew up going to with my family. Like, that's, like, my ritual. You know, like, what I actually drink there is, because uh, it's also, like, a liquor store. I'll, I'll get, like, a Haritos Lemon Lime. I've tried pretty much most flavors. I, I'm just, I just stick to Lemon Lime. It's, like, my favorite. But, uh, yeah, I mean, anytime you go to, honestly, Rex, anytime you go to taco spots here, for the most part, besides having, you know, Coke in a Mexican can, a Mexican bottle, right, Coca de Patea, you know, uh, um, Squirt, they most likely have Haritos there, too. Like, that, that's just normal. So you see that pretty much everywhere in most taco stands if, if they don't have, like, normal canned sodas. If they have bottles, they most likely have Haritos there all the time. But yeah, no, I, I see Haritos sold a lot, too, in all of these, like, you know, <laughs> I wouldn't say, like, white stores, but, like, you know, American stores, like, uh, not, like, not, like, Northgate, like, Gonzalez Northgate is very, like, a very big, like, Mexican type of grocery store, so you're gonna definitely see everything Mexican there, or Latino, Hispanic, but a lot of the Vons and, like, you know, all those kind of stores, like, they, uh, they all have their own, like, Hispanic or, like, you know, Latin foods and stuff like that, and I always see that there. Um, not every flavor, but I usually see, like, the main couple. They usually have, like, they usually have tamarind there, right, which is, like, orange soda. They usually have little lemon lime, or they have, like, you know, fruit punch, shit like that. But yeah, no, it's, it's delicious, man. It's great. Oh really? What do you guys call them now? I think in I think in our our normal grocery stores here, like Vons, Albertsons, and like you know those kind of deals, I want to say they they say, yeah, I think it does say authentic now. I mean I don't know. I mean I guess people could get offended by that, but before I remember it used to say Hispanic or like, like you know um, Latin. I don't know. But whatever. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. It's because, like I said, when you go to, like, Mexican grocery stores or, like, very, like, Hispanic or Latino populated grocery stores, like, they don't have sections like that. <laughs> like, it's everywhere, you know? They don't have, like, a... But I will say, like, you know what's so funny, though? Like, I love going to, like, Northgate Market. That's, like, my favorite one because I love their their, their, their pambolillo, the bread that they make there, the sweet bread and everything they make there. The bakery section is great. Um, and also they have like so many home cooked meals there. It, like they, when you go to like Northgate, like today I went to this morning, my, my wife just, she grew up like going to her grandparents' house and they eat very simple, dude. They just get like a piece of, like I said, pambolio. I don't even know what they call it in, in I don't know what they call it uh, in English, but just like this Mexican bread loaf, just white bread. She used to grew up on just eating like putting some beans in it, right? With some chile. Putting some like uh, queso ranchero or even throwing in some meat, but not even meat, just beans, cheese, closing it up and eating it. So um, that's what she wanted to eat today, right? So I stopped today in the morning after my oil change. And uh, yeah, like they have a whole section of like food they sell. So like they sell tamales, they sell, you know, all these different like f uh, seafood dishes, like ceviche jaiva. Then they sell fresh food they made. They're like, you know, chile verde with pork and I don't know, it's delicious. All right, here we go. Mobley. Valentin Carboni. And we got a Giorgio Cellini. 13 out of 30. Yeah, I don't think they care. I don't think they care here either. But what I was trying to say is that I think it's so funny because, like, I love Northgate, but... I can't find certain things at Northgate that I can find at, like, Albertsons and Bonds, you know? I can find almost anything at Northgate that I really, really want. But if I want, like, certain, like, American brand stuff, I, they don't sell it there. Because like, it, they don't make money off of it, right? Nobody buys it. That's the problem, right? They're only going to sell what they make money off of. 
So I just I feel like it, su it sucks sometimes because I feel like I, I can almost do a one-stop shop going to Northgate, but then I can't really because there's some things that I need to buy or that my wife and I want that we can't find there. <laughs> so it's so funny. All right, KDB going to uh, letter K. Tristan. Also that uh, that uh, Giorgio is going to letter G, which is A.A. Ron. 13 out of 20 for KDB. Emiliano Martinez, Alfonso Davies, Frankie Dijon, Julian Alvarez, and then we got Luis Diaz, Heritage, letter L, to 24. Letter L is going to go to Joe. We got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And how about a, is that Paul? I, I can't really read the handwriting. But Paul. <laughs> There you go, nine of nine. Going to letter P and Joe. I think it's a G, right? I don't know. You, you older soccer heads will probably definitely know who this is. But nice patch though. Oh, I don't know, is there? Oh shit, wait, you're right. Mm. What have we done in the past, Kev? Because I would personally give it to this guy because that's what the photo's on there. But then again, I feel like you're right. It says Emiliano Martinez in the back. What did we do in the past? Like with Joe, because if, if, if he randomized it, I'll do it. But if not, I'd just give it to the front. Thanks for pointing that out, though. I didn't even notice that. Joe did front back randomizer? Okay. Well, I'll do that then too, guys. Sorry, I didn't even realize that. So, we'll have to randomize between front or back on these cards because they are going to be different. So, the front wins, it's going to go to Luis. If it does and win, it goes to the back card, it goes to Emiliano, which is letter E. Which actually doesn't really make a difference for this one, to be honest. Because Joe has letter E and he has letter L. Yes. <laughs> so, I don't have to worry about that one. All right, Jonathan David, uh, Drogba, Didier, Drogba, and it's a one of one. How about that? Letter D. Tris with that one. The greats. You think Joe ransomed him? <laughs> you put him up for ransom, Eric? Thibaut Courtois. Alessandro Bastoni, Jorginho, Federico Valverde, and it also has Javi on the back. So letter F, A A run, letter X X with A A run. Wow. How about another one I don't have to randomize? <laughs> I love it. So letter F, A A run, and then all other letters not listed. There's no X here, so he goes to A A run. Mm, mm, mm. Company. And how about a Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Letter Z. Going to AA Ron. Game use memorabilia, and it's 13 out of 15. That's awesome, man. Alright, one more, and then we'll go to the next box. Portland, Allison, Nathan, Bastoni, numbered uh, 14 out of 62. Jack Graylish, Son Young Min, and an Alan Shearer, gold plated. One of one, another one. Going to letter A in Tristan. Very nice, buddy. Game use memorabilia. Awesome. All right. Not a bad box there with a couple one on ones. It's locked on Relic. Very nice.
Next one. Cody Gokpo to 55. Letter C going to Tristan. And Mohamed Salah. That's awesome, man. 7 out of 12. Mo going to letter M and AA round. These gold plated cards are freaking awesome. KDB. We got Erjan Robin. And that has Javi in the back. 7 out of 25. So letter X going to AA Ron. Letter A going to Tristan. So that'll actually be randomized there. Front or back. And then Neymar. Glenn Dempsey. Karim Benzema. Killing Mbappe. 52 out of 55 for letter K. Going to Tristan. And then we have profiles. Luke Shaw. Three out of nine. Letter L going to Joe. Right, two more, guys. Joao. And then Son Young Min. Or Min Son. Or Son Young Min. Letter S and letter J. Letter J is AA run. Letter S is Tristan. So that's another one front or back. Onana, Andre Onana, 58 to 62, letter A going to Tristan. And then behind Enzo Fernandez is a game used owners of Mark Andre uh, Tierstigen. Uh, Mark Andre, letter M, going to AA Ron. All right, last hits right here, guys. Good luck. And then we got a talisman game memorabilia. Giorgio. Letter G going to AA run. And AA run, I think he literally got all the relics. Well, at least that's what it feels like. Honestly, Eric, I'm pretty sure I'm like half of them are wrong. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I'm definitely not the best pronunciator, and especially here at Jaspers. May sound like it sounds right, <laughs> but I might be wrong. All right, there you go. All right, so we'll do front and back, obviously, for those ones. And then, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. I'm not sure what's been hit in the remaining or previous boxes, but this one has some nice stuff, including a couple of nice one-on-ones. I don't know. I haven't seen an autograph just yet, guys. Maybe there's something hiding in the last two. So if you guys want to, I'll repost it. I don't, Nick didn't tell me not to, so I'll repost it if you guys want to kill it for tomorrow. We can. Uh, so let's switch things really quick, and let's do that randomizer really quick. So we'll go front, back, roll, six and a two eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes to the front.
Appreciate it, guys. Next one will be in the store soon, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.